So, we are now working on chapter 6 integers, and we're looking at 6.4 and 6.5, addition and subtraction. And what we're going to be looking at today is the use of number lines uh, to represent addition and subtraction. We've already looked at addition in class, but we're just going to review that and then look at subtraction as well. So if we take an example such as minus 3 plus positive 2. So if you remember, we can see here we have uh, a sign that represents addition, and then we have our signs that represent the integers. Well, this first number really tells us our start value. Where are we starting on our number line? So on our number line, if we start with 0 over here and move down to minus 3, this is where we're starting at. This is our little character. We're going to name him Bob. And then we look at the next operation here, and we see addition. Now, as we've learned in previous grades, long time ago, that addition is on the right-hand side, and moving up the scale is moving to the right. So that means Bob is ready to move to the right. This one means how is he moving? He's moving forward two steps. So if he moves forward two steps, he ends up at negative 1. So the answer is for the problem minus 3 plus positive 2 is negative 1. Likewise, if we took a, a negative integer, we have minus 3 oops, minus 3 plus negative 2 if I take Bob on his line again, and he starts at negative 3, let's just put him there, he's still adding, so he's still facing to the right. But what's slightly different now is this second one, which is a negative sign. This means move backwards, because you're going back to see where were you at that time. So if we start at negative 3, Plus, now I'm adding another 2 in the backwards direction. He's actually moving to the left towards the more negative side, and he ends up at negative 5. So negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5. Now let's take a look at subtraction. If we have a subtraction example, let's say negative 3 minus positive 2. Now, if we draw our number line and we follow the same kind of procedure, he starts at negative 3. Now, what's slightly different is this next sign. We have a minus. And if we learned from before, a minus means look to the left because you're going to be subtracting. You're going to be removing. So he's looking to the left, and he's going to walk forwards two steps. So he's going to continue in the same direction for two more steps. So that would bring him to minus 5. So minus 3 plus minus 2, sorry, minus 3 plus positive 2 also brings me to negative 5. The last example is where I have minus 3 minus negative 2. So if we draw Bob on his number line again, and we start him at negative 3, he's facing in the negative direction because this is a subtraction, so he's facing here. But what's different is now this sign. Remember, a negative sign means move backwards. So if he's facing the left, but he's moving backwards too, as we can see, he ends up at negative 1, which is greater than our original, uh, original question. So just to review, if we're moving, if we're facing forward, and we're moving forward, or facing in the positive direction, and we are moving forward, he moves to the right. If he's facing to the left and moving backward, he is still moving to the right. So in both of those cases, when the signs are the same, it's really like we are adding or moving in the positive direction. If the signs are different, for example, adding a negative or subtracting a positive, he is moving to the left or in the negative direction. So I hope you understand integer addition and subtraction using a number line.